And we're back. Hope you had a great holiday weekend. And good morning, America. I'm Diane Sawyer. Hope and yours I, was good. It was so good. I was right here. I know. Loving it. Until you had to work. I was rubbing it in. Loving it. It was my favorite part being here. Robin's <laughs> off this Tuesday, May 29th, 2007. And we are well, the next segment was inspired by an article from Moore magazine about plunging necklines, plunging and then plunging further and plunging in all directions. You can't go to get a breakfast waffle without <laughs> all that cleavage out there. So is it a good thing in the workplace? How do you really feel? I had a chance to talk to an expert, Elizabeth Squires, whose new book on the matter hit stores this fall. So at the risk of sounding like a real square, it seems to me that everybody is confused by the fact that everything is so low cut out there all the time. And there are no longer any clear sort of respectful rules. Too much cleavage in every place that you see. And part of that is what we are wearing these days. We're wearing tighter, more fitted clothes, tighter jeans, so everything's out there. All right, I wanna give some examples. Let's Great. start with a woman in her mid-30s. Okay. And let's see, everybody at home, you decide which looks best, mid-30s woman. That length, that length, that length. All right, you want to weigh in? I think that is the right way to look. I think that the first one, in that case, it was a too sheer of a top, and then you can see the bra underneath, too, which is also a bad mistake that many women make. And you were saying earlier, too, that everybody thinks guys, everyone thinks men will automatically prefer lower cut, but studies have shown... Oh, men do not even prefer larger breasts. Women overestimate the size of breasts that men prefer. And studies have shown that in the workplace especially, men think that women who are medium-sized breasts, they rank them higher on the personal and professional scale. Oh, really? There yes. are studies that yes. show that you yeah. actually get docked in people's right. minds yes. for your professionalism. Yes, because it is a distraction. People are looking at your cleavage. They're not looking and they're not thinking about your skills and they're not focused on the task at hand. Ever appropriate to show cleavage in the Never. workplace? Never. It's way too big of a distraction for both men and women. If cleavage isn't in your job description, don't write it in. It's okay, now let's take a woman in her 50s and above. That? Is that better? That's or best. Is that best? I think that's well, best. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb okay. and say there is an age at which you should leave cleavage in the rearview mirror forever. Okay. Well, that's my, that's my sense. I think you have to dress age appropriately with your cleavage. Think of it as a fashion accessory. And, you know, where do you wear, like, high heels in a certain place? Um, you know, out in the soccer field, that might not be appropriate. Yes, but isn't there an age beyond which even you will say, no more? Just no more. No, nobody wants to see it cover up. Well, women, as they get older, their breasts are not as firm and perky as they once were. So you don't want to push them together because you get that wrinkled cleavage look in the first place. So that's not the nice way to look. But I think if you're older and you wear a scoop neck and you have beautiful what the French call décolletage, that's gorgeous. I think you can be sensual and sexy without showing a lot of breast. All right. You say Helen Mirren was the standard. She yes. picked the occasion, which was the Oscars, right? And, and she dressed to the hilt but did it right. Mm -hmm. And this was acceptable. Yes. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's and not she's in her 60s. Yes, and she's not wearing one of those push-up bras that pushes you up way high. She's dressing age appropriately. It's wonderful. Okay, final advice here. You're saying if you're going to show cleavage and you really prefer it when it's for the occasion Gen for someone, exactly. and it's personal, it's yes. not just general. But if you're gonna do it, watch out for the bra. What's the right bra, bra what's the wrong bra? Well, m many of us make the mistake of using these real big push-up bras, and we think we need that to add more oomph. But for many women, um, demi-bra, balconet bras are much more appropriate. And so just using a more natural look and not trying to push them up higher. Okay, so we got some before and after, ra right. wrong bra, right bra, I believe. And we're gonna do it, first of all, for date time yeah. <laughs> right or that, wrong that's wrong that's wrong that's, and the right yeah, way bra. she's wearing a minimizer she's larger breasted and this is perfect example there's some great fabulous minimizer bras out there these days in fact the largest uh, so touring industry is the larger bra right. size right now same outfit but different bra and a yes. very different effect Beautiful. Okay. okay the final one is for evening right mm -hmm. the social occasion wrong bra wrong bra yes right very bra? wrong bra 
beautiful look. I mean, you can still see the nice look there. It's still sexy and sensual, but it's not in your face cleavage. And you mm -hmm. don't need to have that in your face. It should be part of the whole body. You should take a look at that and have your, your breasts be part of the whole package and not just a separate element. Right. All right. Things to think about this morning because it's true. Every place you look, yeah. it's cleavage is the new black. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is so. totally. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. And more of Elizabeth Squire's thoughts and her book on her website, abcnews.com. It's now 20.